Hi there. In this video, I am going to guide you through the process of installing and setting up the MM Guardian Sync app so that you can view the messages and calls that are on your child's iPhone. You will be able to view the messages in the MM Guardian Parent app on your phone or the web portal. You will also receive alerts about concerning messages related to categories such as predators, drugs, suicidal thoughts, and more. To get started, go to mmguardian.com slash iPhone dash message dash reports. If you requested the email about the Sync app from within your own parent app, there is a link in that email to get to this download page. Once you are here, click the big green button to get the app. You will then be taken to a new download screen. In this tutorial, I will be using a Mac computer, but I will address the Windows version shortly. Again, you'll pick the green button and enter your login information, and then you will be able to start the download. The DMG file will download and will either open automatically like this, or you may have to open it manually depending on your computer's download settings. If you have a Mac computer, you will see this screen pop up. You will need to drag the icon into the Applications folder. And once it's in the Applications folder, you can double click it to open. You'll see this little dialog since you downloaded it from the internet instead of the App Store, but just click Open and then it should take you to the app's title screen. If you have a Windows computer, when you download the app, you should see it at the bottom of your screen, just like any other download. Click the little caret icon and then select Open to run the program and then just follow the steps. You will see this next screen if you don't currently have any devices connected to the computer. Simply connect the device via a USB cable and then it should appear. You may have to unlock the device and set it to trust the computer. Once you click trust, it should pop up like that. Once you see the device, click configure to start setting it up. In the configuration screen, you will see several options. The first is the name of the phone, and most parents just like to enter their child's name there. You don't have to enter the phone number, but it is recommended. Backup encryption is necessary if the device is currently set to be encrypted. Here you'll enter the encryption password and then click Save. Attempt to backup is pretty straightforward. It will determine how often the app will attempt to backup your child's device and upload the messages. The time frame determines at what point in the day the backups will be attempted. By default, the time frame is set from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m., which is 24 hours a day. If you would like for your child's phone to be backed up during times when the computer will probably be asleep, such as during the night, you will need to set up schedules that correspond with the times that the device will be backed up, going to the battery preferences. And it'll look like this. Once everything is set, click Save, and the initial backup will begin automatically. Now, this first backup may take a while, depending on how much memory your child's phone has used. However, subsequent backups will be much faster and automatic. We are going to skip ahead to the end here. Once the backup is complete, you will see this message informing you the future backups will occur automatically as long as the child's device is connected to the same Wi-Fi as the computer that you installed the Sync app on. To ensure that Wi-Fi backups will work, disconnect the device from the USB cable. And that's it. The messages should now be available for viewing in your parent app. As always, if you have any questions or require assistance of any kind, please do reach out to us at support at mmguardian.com and we will be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching.